What's up, YouTube? It's SNK Gaming here, welcoming you back to week five, six, 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 six of the PMC. I'm so sorry, guys. I lost track of what week we were in there. Week six of the PMC. Today, we're going up against uh, Max, coach of the Maximum Charizards. Again, we do have a um, conference rematch or whatever. Uh, it is the second to last week of the PMC, guys. If we don't make playoffs, which uh, we are looking good to make playoffs, if we can win this and then win our next week. Um, we, we will make playoffs, but uh, it is the second to last week of the regular season, guys. So, um, looking at his team, we see the uh, Drapion, the Ferrothorn, the Mega Charizard X, because he did actually drop Charizard Y for uh, Charizard X, Alakazam, Tentacruel, and Hippowdon. So, not seeing the Heatran uh, right off the bat is huge because um, it does not give him a Flash Fire user, so he does not have anything to really stop my uh, Chandelure, um, other than, of course, the Charizard Y, or the Charizard X, excuse me. Um, and we also see that he, other than um, regular Charizard, does not have an Earthquake immunity. So Garchomp and Mew, who we are running a special Mew this week. We are running Earth Power, Scarf, Mew. Um, I didn't put a team builder up this week just because I didn't have time. Um, but uh, we are running a special Mew this week. So we do have Earth Power and Earthquakes. And he has no immunities to it after he Mega Evolves Charizard. So uh, definitely a positive for us unless he wants to run an Air Balloon on something. But nothing on his team would really benefit from having an Air Balloon. So we're going to jump right into the battle, guys. Go ahead and get this uh, started. And I'm actually going to speed it up a little bit because... It's already there. We go. Okay, so we see that he is going to lead the Powdon, and I decided to lead Mew just because I could U turn out of there. I am Scarf, so I outspeed everything on his team minus a Choice Scarf uh, Alakazam. But uh, why would he bring Choice Scarf Alakazam? Um, but I decided to just go for a Grass Knot here because it does like 75% to this Hippowdon, and uh, Hippowdon is annoying. And he's actually going to go for the Toxic here, which um, I'm not too sure why he did. He said he didn't know that I had Synchronize. Um, but I mean, I'm fine with it, uh, cause I have Heal Bell on Blissey, and also I get a Toxic, or Poison off on, um, his Paladon, so if he decides to switch out, uh, I can still whittle it down, which, um, he actually is just going to switch out here, but as I said earlier, I am Choice Scarf, so I am locked into Grass Knot, um, so I'm just gonna go for the Grass Knot here, just because I decided... I might as well, you know, sat, or kill this Paladon if he does decide to stay in, um, and I can get a Grass Knot off on something. And most of his team's pretty heavy, so even when it was even if it resists it, it'll still do a decent amount. He's gonna switch into the Drapion here, and we actually are gonna get a crit with this Grass Knot, so it's gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, well, not a lot, but a decent amount considering it's a Drapion, uh, and it resists it. But that crit actually really helped us. And um, at this point, I'm like, I need to get out of here because Grass Knot's gonna do anything, and Night Slash can actually do a lot to us, and uh, Knock Off is gonna do a lot to us as well. And I don't want to lose our Choice Scarf this early just because I do want to outspeed that uh, um, Alakazam later on. Uh, so I decided to switch out here and go into my Suicune because he is my physical wall and I know this Drapion can't touch us even if he has Thunderfang He's not gonna be able to touch us. So um, I switch out into Suicune as he actually goes for the knockoff uh, Which you will see in a second. He's gonna go for the knockoff, which is a little unfortunate because I lost my Chesto Berry um, Which actually comes into play later on, but uh, we're not gonna worry about that because you know misplays or misplays Well, it's not really misplay because I really have another option I was gonna something was gonna lose an item and Suicune is the thing I'm most happy with losing an item with um, so I'm just gonna go for the safe Scald here as he switches out into his Tentacruel because it's his obvious switch into um, Suicune, but there's nothing else really I could do. Um, I needed to try to fish for a burn on the Drapion and Scald was my best move no matter what. I mean, the Tentacruel switching was obvious, but there's nothing I could really do about it. Unless I wanted to double out, which I wasn't confident doubling out because I didn't want something that lose its item. Or uh, get Night Slashed or Poison Jabbed or anything, so um, I'm just gonna switch out here and go into my Blissey because I can eat up whatever kind of special attack this thing wants to do. If he wants to knock off, I am Choppleberry, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, seeing as he doesn't have a Heatran with superpower, uh, the Charizard X could still have a fighting type move, but uh, I'm not going to stay in against the Charizard X, obviously. So um, he just goes for the Ice Beam as he then goes for the knockoff to knock off our uh, Choppleberry, which, you know, I mean, like I said, it's not that big of a deal. We're just going to set up our rocks here um, just because... I want that Charizard taking 50% when it comes in, just because I don't want it to come in for free. Um, and he's actually just going to go for Rapid Spin this turn, which, I mean, good play. You know, can't really fault him for that, you know. Like I said, rocks are rocks are good for his team, but I'm just going to go Heal Bell here, just because uh, I realize that staying on this Tentacle probably isn't going to uh, work out too well for me. So I got rid of the Toxic on... Um, Mew, as I'm just going to go for a Seismic Toss this turn just to get off some damage, and then I was deci I decided I was going to switch out the next turn. So uh, he switches into Drapion to take the Seismic Toss, and it actually does a lot of damage. Uh, it did more than I thought I was going to do, suggesting that maybe he's not fully physically defensive. Um, 
or maybe not fully HP invested, which would be which would be really nice. Uh, as I switch in this weekend here again, just my physical wall and just eat up whatever he wants to do, and maybe try to fish for a burn with a scald. Um, and I actually think this turn he goes for the sword. He does go for the sword stance. And at this point, I was like, I mean, that doesn't really bother me because even if he has Thunderfang, uh, which would be his strongest move against me, it's not killing me, and I can just rest up. Uh, which would be a little unfortunate because I don't have my chest to bury, but I actually scare him out. I guess that's a good middle ground play for him because he doesn't want me. To, he doesn't want to get burned. And Scald actually did a decent amount of damage to him, so I was going to win that battle. Uh, and he switches out into Sense of Cruel to eat up my Scald again, and uh, this is where this is where things get 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 interesting. This is where things get really, really, really interesting. Um, I'm going to switch out to Mew here. Um, just because uh, I know I can live a knockoff, I know I can live a scald, and he actually is just going to go for a scald here, and uh, he doesn't get the burn. Thank, thank, thank you, thank you for not getting that burn. Uh, and I just decided to go for an Earth Power here, just because I realized uh, it was probably my best play because the Drapion switching was obvious with the Psy Shock or the Psychic. Um, it doesn't do as much as I was hoping, meaning that he is fully specially defensive, which is should have been obvious, but I was hoping maybe he had some Fizz Death. Not just uh, full spit up, but he goes to knock off, knocking off my choice scarf, which actually is good because I'm gonna go for Psy Shock here. Uh, because I know he's not gonna switch in Drapion knowing that I have Earth Power because it will one hit the uh, Drapion. But he switches into the Charizard and I go for Psy Shock, which is doing about half, a little under half maybe. Uh, and he's gonna Mega Evolve here. Now, actually, I'm going to pause it real, real quick and I'm gonna uh, explain what's about to happen. So, I thought maybe he won't Mega Evolve his first turn, expecting me to go for the obvious Earth Power and just blow back his Charizard. And I forgot that in League format, you have to evolve uh, your Mega the first turn it's out if you attack. So, misplay on my part. Um, I go for the Psy Shock here because um, I thought maybe he wasn't going to switch out. And he was just going to go straight for a D-Dance or something and then Mega Evolve later. Um, and if I had gone for Earth Power, I would have knocked him out. But Psy Shock is what I ended up going for because I wanted to make the safe play. And unfortunately, it does not knock him out as you will see here in a second. Um, I do go for the Psy Shock, as I have said, um, and it does a decent amount of damage again, but as it didn't do half before, it doesn't do the rest of the half, and he goes to the D-Dance here, and at this point, I'm like, oh, crap, like, uh, this is gonna be an issue, um, but I decided just to sack Mew, because I could switch into, um, Scizor and Bullet Punch, but he actually goes for the Roost here, which is, uh, I, I don't, I don't really get why he went for the Roost, but I went for Earth Power here, just in case I lived, or just in case he D-Danced again and tried to get greedy, and I actually just knocked out the Charizard with the Earth, Earth Power, so I was like, oh, okay, cool, and, um, so that's his biggest threat on his team, in my opinion, other than the Alakazam gone, and he switches into the Drapion here, um, I guess maybe thinking he could outspeed me without my Scarf, but we do outspeed and pick up the Knockout with the Earth Power, um, and those are two big threats on his team gone, uh, both of his setup sweepers are gone now. Uh, he's gonna switch out into the pa Hippowdon, I guess, just to sack off and um, set up the Sandstorm to whittle, my whittle down my Mew some more. Uh, I am just gonna go for the Grass Knot and pick up the Knockout on it. And uh, that's half his team gone right there. And really, the Charizard, it was a misplay on my part, and then um, it ended up not being as bad as I thought it was going to be. He definitely could have done a big dent to my team there. I'm not sure if Bullet Punch would have knocked out. Uh, Charizard from that range, but he's going to switch into Ferrothorn, and I'm just going to go for the Earth Power because I realize Mew isn't really doing too, too much for me anymore, especially without that scarf, scarf because he can't outspeed Alakazam. He's just going to knock me out the Giga Drain. At this point, I'm like, I can switch into Chandelure here, and um, when I switch into Chandelure, I, I really expected him to just straight switch out into Tentacruel because I was like, there's no way he's going to stay in on a Chandelure because he knows he can't live a Flamethrower. Um, so I click Energy Ball expecting him to switch out into tentacruel and he actually stays in which um you know i guess ended up being a good play he he read me really well but um i definitely should have clicked flamethrower that was just a good middle play ground for me uh but i decided to switch out here because i'm not doing anything with the energy ball and he can do a decent amount of damage with me if he has power up uh just because chandelure isn't that bulky physically uh so i'm gonna switch out here into my um blissey because i can eat up giga drains for days um, and he's just going to go for the Protect here, which is fine. Uh, I am actually going to click Seismic Toss uh, just to break this thing sub because it does 25% to everything on his team. Even if this thing is fully Fizz Def, full HP, it's doing like 27-28%. Uh, so I can pop his sub all day. He's not going to be able to set up on me. Um, so I, I do pop his sub as he, he's actually going to go for the Leech Seed here, which uh, that's that's a decent move. That's a decent move set for Farah, um, obviously, you know, sub, Leech Seed, Giga Drain. I don't know what it's uh, Protect. 
I saw the fourth move. You're dumb, Spencer. Um, but he is just going to uh, sub up here again, I believe, as I'm going to switch out into Chandelure. I believe that's what is about to happen. He's going to get some Leech Seed recovery, which is fine. Uh, like I said, Flamethrower one hits this thing, even if it's fully spit F, full HP. Um, and I am just going to switch out into Chandelure here, as he is just going to set up another sub. Um, and I'm just like, that's fine. I don't think he can really touch me. Um, and I can just, like I said, just fire off Flamethrowers until... I eventually have this thing without a sub and can hit it and knock it out. Uh, I'm going to go for the flamethrower uh, flame here and pop his sub as I think he goes for the leech seed here. I believe he goes for the Giga Drain. Um, I guess maybe expecting me to predict a tentacruel switch or something uh, and go for energy ball again. Or maybe he didn't think I had flamethrower for whatever reason. Um, but he is just going to stay in here, and I am just going to click flamethrower and take out this Ferrothorn, as you guys will see in just a second. And there comes that flamethrower. <sighs> Shandler with the flamethrower. Um, and that is just going to pick up the knockout on this Ferrothorn. So that's he's two. He's down to two Mons, the Alakazam and the Tentacruel. And um, this is another point where the game gets really, really interesting. Um, some some stuff really goes down here. I'm going to switch into Suicune uh, as he goes into his Tentacruel, and he is going to proceed to give me a run for my money at this point. He's going to go for the knockoff, which is fine because he's already knocked off my chest of berry, so it's not doing anything. Um, and I was just like, let me go for Shadow Ball here and just see if I can get the Spit F drop and uh, maybe do some more damage than a Scald would. Uh, he's not going to get the burn on that, which is fine. I am just going to go for the Shadow Ball here, like I said. I was just thinking maybe I could get the Spit F drop. Um, and it's doing a little more than the Scald would, uh, but I didn't get the Spit F drop, which is a little unfortunate. As he's going to go for the Ice Beam here, and um, he actually uh, gets the 10% uh, and freezes me. And I was like, well, great. Um, that's, that's wonderful, because I went for Shadow Ball on this turn. And I was like, well, I guess I have to go for Scald now. Because uh, I don't just want to, like, you know, not be doing any damage to him and have him get up all the way to full again. Because of uh, Black Sludge, he's going to get the crit there. So I go for Scald, thinking maybe I can get a burn. And uh, I do actually think I get the burn this turn. Do I? Yes, I do. I do burn him this turn, which is good because we do have him on a timer now. Because uh, it'll be doing more damage than the Black Sludge will uh, recover. So that's a good thing. Because eventually this Tentacruel will fall. Uh, as he's going to go for the Ice Beam again, and I decided I needed to rest up here just because I was getting really low on health, and Suicune, in all intents and purposes, uh, like, walls this Tentacruel. So at the very least, we were going to win this just because of the burn and our eventual chip damage through Scald, Ice Beam, and Shadow Ball combo. So I was like, Tentacruel is useful because... I can just wall this Tentacruel all day if it comes down to it, but I actually am just going to switch out here and I decide I'm going to go into uh, Scizor because Scald really isn't going to bother me that that much, and Ice Beam of course isn't going to do anything, uh, but he goes for the Ice Beam here and he gets the 10% again and freezes my Scizor. And I'm like, well, I guess Scizor is useless because, you know, um, Alakazam just comes in here on my frozen Scizor and HP fires me to Oblivion. So I decided to switch out here into my Blissey, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. We'll just go into Blissey. We'll heal Bell up. There's no way he's getting another freeze. There's no way. We'll just heal Bell with Blissey. He goes for the Ice Beam again, and I'm like, don't you freeze me. Don't you freeze me. And he doesn't, and I'm like, okay. Now we click Heal, we click heal Bell. We'll wake up Suicune so we can start doing stuff again, and we'll unfreeze Scizor um, as he goes for the Ice Beam again, and he gets the 10% again. So we now have two Frozen Mons and a Sleeping Suicune, and I'm just like, this is great. And um, at this point, I was like, I don't want to switch into anything else because I don't want, want literally my entire team frozen. Because um, I could switch in the Chandelure expecting, you know, the Ice Beam and not the Scald, but uh, I don't want him to get frozen. Um, and so he is just going to switch in his Alakazam here and go for Psy Shock, which is not going to kill me. And if I had unfrozen here... Uh, I could have heal belled because I did click heal bell, but I do not unfreeze. Um, and he is just going to take out my blessy with a psy shock. But it's not the end of the world because um, Garchomp can come in here, you know, for free, of course. And if, as long as he's not scarf, which I don't believe he would be, uh, we outspeed. And even if he is scarf, uh, he's scarfed into uh, psy shock, and we can one hit it with an earthquake. Um, but he's going to switch on to tentacle. Uh, I guess maybe trying to bluff the scarf. And um, I'm just going to go for an Earthquake and take out the Tentacruel. 
and he's down to his Alakazam. And at this point, I was like, as long as he's not Scarf, we win. And even if he has Scarf, uh, we win. We just don't do. Uh, or we just get some damage put into us. But he actually is Focus Sashed. Uh, which I also kind of predicted, you know, because like that's the ideal item. But um, he's just going for the Psy Shock here. And it actually does not kill me. Because Garchomp is a monster. And we are able to pick up the Knockout with the Earthquake. So great battle, Max. Uh, definitely check out his channel, guys. It'll be in the description down below. Uh, Max is a good guy, good battler. Um, and definitely, his team is just really, really weak to Earthquake. And I have two solid Earthquake users. So, um, you know, there's not much he can do about that. You know, like, I don't... It's just Garchomp is... Garchomp has a really good matchup against pretty much everything on his team. But uh, it was definitely a really good battle. He had some freeze hacks there, but it ended up not really mattering. Uh, me getting rid of the Mega Charizard X early on in the game without him really being able to do much really, really helped. As opposed to having that D-Dance uh, set up and do some big damage to my team. Uh, but I do want to thank you guys for checking out the video and encourage you guys to check out the channel if you haven't already because there's a ton of cool stuff over there. And like I said, check out Max's channel as well. It'll be in the description down below. But uh, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I'll see you all next time.